Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video in the Maya 2018. Well, today we're going to talk about a feature that is pretty recent and that will allow you to create gears in seconds. Okay, so let's uh, jump in and I'll show you how to do it. Here we go. Hi right, guys, well, this one's going to be a quick one, but nevertheless, hopefully a fun tutorial. And what we're going to talk about today is how to create gears in Maya 2018. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because um, a lot of people apparently don't know that you now have a, a polygon primitive preset for gears. So that's what we're going to talk about. Okay, so uh, let's jump in. We're going to go to uh, create polygon primitives and we're going to go down to gear. Let's hit that option box. Now, as we do that, you see a lot of options that you can play with, but you can uh, and I'll just reset this. But what you can do is you can just create by default and then go into the attribute editor and uh, change it there. And I prefer to do it that way because you will see visually what I'm changing. Okay, so let's hit create, which will give you this default gear. Now, as you can see, it saves you a lot of time. If you are in need of gears, it's just click and you're done, all right? So let's hit control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's go in to our poly gear one and let's look at what happens when we play with this, all right? Okay, for example, the number of sides as we bring this down, pretty obvious. You can bring that down to something with, let's say, five, or you can bring that way up, all right? How about the radius? Well, that's kind of a no brainer, make it bigger or smaller. How about the internal radius? So, this hole in the middle, that's uh, pretty important. If you want to use this, uh, you know, for a specific purpose, you can play with that as well. Height kind of makes sense, right? Okay. So what else? Gear spacing. Okay, now that is basically that opening between those gear notches. I'm not sure what they're called, but you get the idea, okay? Let's see what else. Uh, our offset. You wanna make them longer and so forth. And let's uh, just hit Control Z so it doesn't look too weird. And then the gear tip. Okay, you can make that thinner, thicker. We've got the gear middle. If you want to make this sharper or less sharp, there we go. Now this one is pretty cool. And this is, and I'll just uh, increase the height a little bit. This one is the twist. And once you do that, you will get something like this, which is really, really awesome. At least I think so. Now, keep in mind, and you probably don't know that, but I'm a trained mechanical engineer. So when I see stuff like this, I, you know, it makes me happy, right? Cool, okay, so what about taper? Let's say you do that. Let's see what happens here. Pretty awesome, right? There you go. Now, these are basically the main controls. So if you are in need of gears, this is a very quick and easy way to create them, okay? That's all there's to it. So have fun playing around with this and let me know what you come up with, okay? See you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.